Taurus. Taurus, welcome. Let's do a general read for you. Keep in mind, not every message may resonate, but keep that which does and leave the rest. I'd also be curious as to how this, or if it resonates for you. But getting started for you, Taurus, we're starting off with the Death card. Clarified by the Ace of Swords, the Three of Wands, and the Moon. So major change is around you right now. There are major changes, or you're thinking about major changes at this particular point. Uh, and these are going to affect your future. However, you're not sure how that effect is actually going to play out. So you may be thinking a lot about it. For others of you, this can be that there's a Scorpio in your life and you're thinking about how life would be with or without them. When we see the desire, too many cards, we see the Four of Cups come up. And that's kind of interesting because the Four of Cups It's about confusion. Well, that would be the Seven of Cups, but the Four of Cups is kind of like, yeah, do I really want this? Like, is this really something that I want? Three of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, your energy, and the Empress. You want to make sure something is good enough for you. Now, that may be a bit of a stretch for some of you. The other is, is that you may be uncertain of that which lights you up and gets you going. And with the Three of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, you're working on your stability. Working on the things that make you happy or trying to, trying to figure out what makes you happy for some of you. Especially with the Four of Cups here. And then the Empress. Just really being um, abundant. Uh, I hate that word. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, there's not another one that's coming to mind. So we're going to stick with that one. But you get the idea. The outcome, or possible outcome, is justice. Now, justice, this can be divorce. This can be a major balancing effect happening. We have the Knight of Cups, the Eight of Swords, and the Five of Cups. So, whatever legal matters are here, with the Knight of Cups, somebody may come back in, or somebody may come forward saying, you know, everything's hunky-dunky, or that they want to be with you, but... With the Eight of Swords, it's like, are the, is this really what's going on? Is this just a pile of bullshit? And the Five of Cups, you've been through enough. Did you really want to go through this again? There are regrets that you may have around it. And you're aware of it. Like, you've been hurt. You've gone through those things. There are regrets. There are... There is pain that's that's ensued. But when we look to what is working for you, we have the Nine of Swords. So, and this is followed by the Ten of Cups, the Tower, and the Queen of Swords. So going through life, worrying about things, there might be just overthinking about things. And with the Ten of Cups, especially when it comes to relationships. So you've always been a thinker around relationships. With the Tower coming in, there can be a surprise. There can be the destruction of the belief that maybe you don't need to worry. And then we have the Queen of Swords. So you can think about what's going on. You can be detached from it. 
and weigh it out without being emotionally invested. So that can be one of the other things, you know, you're possibly worrying about hurting everybody else and then, you know, hurting yourself in return. So, interesting. Ooh, holy smokes, that hurts. I don't know what that is. We have the Four of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, and the Lover's card. Oh, sorry, Two of Cups. So the Four of Swords, this is what you need to be aware of. This is healing and those types of things. And really just being able to be on your own. But you're also balancing between your independence and a relationship that matches you. Where are you with that? And all of a sudden, I'm just spinning dizzy right now. And not, not due to blood sugar levels. Um, maybe things have been a whirlwind for you and... Wow, okay, we'll take them. The Three of Swords, the King of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Ten of Swords, and the Wheel. You're doing all you can to get over the pain of being with somebody. The Six of Pentacles and the Emperor you're a giver. And with the Emperor here, your ambitions are usually put on hold. But with the Ten of Swords and the Wheel, whatever this was, whatever... Ooh, okay. So you were involved with someone who was in and out. They broke your heart. You tried to give them the best of you. It ended. And now the wheel is turning. The wheel is now turning in your favor. So this is really, really interesting. I'd be curious as to how this is um, going to turn out. Because with the Six of Pentacles, they could be giving you the sign that they've matured, that they're actually wanting to come back to this that they're wanting to revisit this maybe it's that you may have a pro hard time hearing it or you wind up grinding your teeth through it because you know it's like i told them already for some of you this will resonate oh it hurts so bad it's like you told them this already and it's taken this long for them to figure it out. So, Taurus, I'm going to leave it there because this is really stinking hurt. Uh, best of luck this week. Let me know how this resonates for you and we'll talk to you next time. Stay safe.